I mean, I can't wait. There's six more months, but it hopefully flies by. I'm sure it will. Six months ago, Gunnar Bentz was preparing for his final Olympics, preparing to try out for Tokyo, swim in Tokyo, and retire when he got home. I feel old. I'm feeling every little ache and pain. After this summer, I'm going to be done and my swimming career is over. Instead, Bentz is swimming in not Tokyo, but Watkinsville, Georgia, preparing for a new long year of training before maybe a new Olympics in 2021. I think a lot of people, you know, had to call it quits and, and hang up the, the speedo. And I realized, you know, in, you know, 20, 30 years, I'm going to regret not swimming. Bentz grew up in Atlanta. He went to school in Athens. And at 20 years old, he flew to Rio and won gold with a 4x200 freestyle relay. In late March, in the grips of COVID-19, the IOC postponed the 2020 games. Bentz and some of his teammates used that time to step away from the water. Now, they're seeking out water, wherever they can find it. I know of people swimming in uh, rivers and lakes right now, you know, you, you, you got to do what you can. It's a different way to prepare in a very different kind of year. And it's one more year Bentz will wait to swim his final games. I'm postponing real life for another year. That's, that's not so bad. I'm, I get to, you know, hang out with my friends and, and train for possibly another Olympic. So um, I'm excited to do that. An extra year training at that Olympic intensity is a lot. I'm glad he's going to compete in 2021. Matt, it is a little bit surreal that you and I are both supposed to be in Tokyo right now. Yeah, you know, you think about the Olympics as being so full of ceremony, the opening ceremonies, the closing ceremonies, the medal ceremonies, but it was entirely unceremonious how these games got canceled or postponed, as it were. Certainly for folks like Gunnar Bentz, it required a major emotional and mental shift to have to take all this training they were doing and now see them all have to kind of bottle that up and hopefully let it all out next summer. We are hopeful we'll be in Tokyo this time next year and all of us will be watching the opening ceremonies for the Summer Games together. Matt, thanks a lot.